and cut. Two, one, action. Action. And then, and then while they're there, he can make some micro adjustments. If you love me, love me, love me like you say. You want something else? Learn how to cook. Boom! Hey! Whoa! What is this? Go on, You and Owen and Kyle. We are doing voiceovers for a current scene, and it's actually my first time saying bitch. Okay, thanks. Bye. See ya, bitches. Yeah, see ya, bitches. <laughs> my dad's never let me say that word before. Okay, okay. Hey! One more wave. Perfect. Guys, I found my Ohana. My real Ohana. <laughs> this is the best live show you have seen in a long time. <laughs> so, um, Alex, if you have your guitar, Lindsay, we figured you have a solo cup or something from the party. Yeah. Boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap, snap, snap, Clap, boom, boom, snap, clap, snap, boom, snap, clap. Yeah. <laughs> Shake it up. It's hot. There's mosquitoes outside. And lots of bananas. And you're so happy to see each other. Yes, I got the dialogue at the top. Here we go. Ready? And action. Boom, snap, clap, boom, boom, snap, clap, snap. That's the whole cycle. What sauce did you use to cover your, your friends? Boom. <laughs> that's hilarious. So we'll do one where you do cover with your hands and we'll do one where you cover with the props. Yeah, that's great. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're, you're being a great sport. Thank so again, this is purposefully messy. I have no idea what's going to happen other than if I have a camera generally out here, if you're sort of running circles around him while you're trying to clean up, let's see what that looks like. Wait, we're riding the ATVs again? Bring up his bam, gotta rub it for good luck. There we go. Rub the bam for good luck. Because you get your father's cocoa, the cocoa of a fallen warrior. It's about two siblings, and I'm one of them, from Brooklyn, New York. Our mom is a single mom. She works double shifts. She works really hard, but it's really hard to get to spend time with her. And she's basically scared to come back to Hawaii because she lost the love of her life last time she was here. 
So we come back because her dad, my grandpa that I never met before, has a heart problem. And we don't want to be here. I mean, between us being from New York, it's very different. It's a very different envi environment. It's very hot. There's chickens around parking lots. It's just not something that we're used to. So when we come, we're, we like really, we hate it here. But the more and more time we spend here, we find out the true meaning of Aloha. The movie's got so many good, rich moments, whether it be celebratory moments like we're filming right now where we find ground zero, whether it be fearful moments where we're running from the night marchers, whether it be romantic moments where Hana and E have their, their final moment where they're together in the hospital getting ready to kiss, whether it be um, classic brother and sister banter like Peely and E have, or or the creation of a friendship like uh, Casper and Peely have. There's so many rich moments that I think the movie encompasses all of them into one amazing, family-friendly, beautiful film. This movie, Finding Ohana, it's all about uh, family reconnecting with their roots, um, having a great time in a new place, and a really fun, action-filled treasure hunt. One of the, the, the most asked questions from Goonies fans for the last, you know, 30-something years is, well, are we ever going to get a Goonies 2? And I think Finding Ohana is as close as we'll ever get. Peely is a very brave, strong girl. When you ask her to do something, she doesn't second-guess herself about it. She just goes for it. And I think that's one of the things that made me really excited to do her. She's a very exciting character. I mean, she goes geocaching, and she does a bunch of fun things with her best friend Yoli in New York. And I think it's just really cool because I feel like the character can personally relate to me. I play the role of E. Uh, and I'm the most stubborn of all of the characters. I am New York in and out. I know I was born and sort of raised in Hawaii, but New York is my heart and soul. I'm very, very clean, I'm very, very organized, and I'm a complete contrast to my sister Peely in the movie. And through the movie, I definitely have, I feel like, the largest arc that goes from this New York clean, germaphobe, always organized, to falling in love with a, like a, just from the island Hawaiian girl and then ending up, you know, on the other side, which is learning my culture, loving my culture, loving my name, actually going by my full name versus my one letter New York styled nickname. Um, and it's really, really cool getting to embody that because I feel like as somebody who thinks culture is super important, getting to play somebody who goes from A to Z is a, is a super great experience. Casper, he is, he lives on the island. He is 12. He really cares about, you know, the nature and aloha and all the things that, you know, about where he lives. He's a dork, he's really smart. Hana calls him a walking Wikipedia page. My favorite thing about working on this movie is that Jude loves letting us kind of improv, do whatever we feel, um, try new things even if it's not written in the script already. And so um, she does this thing called Fun Run. And when she says Fun Run, it's like whatever it goes. Like literally you can make jokes, you can go completely off script, you can talk about whatever you want. Uh, so I'm very, very excited. Hopefully she lets us do a Fun Run. Let's go. What a cast. I'm not talking about myself. I'm gonna talk about these four wonderful folks, these young stars of tomorrow, you know, Kea, oh my gosh, a big ball comet flying through the sky, landing here on Earth and playing this part. She's wonderful. Uh, she plays my granddaughter, or I should say I play her grandfather. She's terrific. I love her. She's like my Ohana already. What made this set so awesome, I mean, first of all, Look at this. I mean, every set here has been so complex. I've never seen anything like it before. Between the waterfalls, the bioluminescent caves, they're building inside and outside. I mean, and also with our real sets when we've been on the caves, like, I mean, this is real life nature. It's been really cool to experience all of it. This is the, uh, what we call the waterfall cave. And this is the uh, penultimate set in the film where the, um, where the, the children are, are introduced to this, um, this you know, fantastical landscape. Um, what you have to imagine when you're looking at this now is that there's waterfalls coming down pretty much all the surfaces you can see here. And over in the far corner, if you can see that doorway, 
Um, that's a secret door that leads to the treasure cave. Woo! <laughs>